Warriors, what's up? Down in my basement. First day, April Fools. But it's not April Fools, this is serious. Um, yeah, we're going to be working on glass for the first piece. And what I have come up with is something that's going to teach you lines and show you shading. And it's going to hit all aspects of the glass on where a lot of you you know may have questions there's advanced techniques there's beginner techniques there's everything in this and what I've come up with is this little piece and so it's got a little bit of everything and I'm gonna do it and videotape it but then I'm going to walk you through it because with the Dremel and the noise, it'll probably won't come out that well, but I'll give it a shot and talk as I'm going through it. Um, and we'll see how it works. But yeah, it's the first one. So I'm excited about it. And since a lot of you are doing glass, that's what I decided to do. Um, what you need and what I'm going to be using is the little green one for my Dremel. I'm only using the Dremel 200. Now the first thing I'm going to do is tape it to the back. Front, back, whatever one you want. Um, so, what you're going to understand is with this, I'm going to be using different speeds, high speeds, low speeds, and I'll explain to you where I'm going with the high, or when I'm going to high speed and when I'm going to low speed. Because that's how you get your different tones, that's how you get your different shades. And watch my hands, watch my hands. My hands are very important because that's going to give you your depth and what you need to know. Um, so, yeah. Let's tackle this. Can you hear that? It's there, I'm barely touching it. And that's where my hands come in. I can really easily adjust my hand. But I'm going to finish out the napos first, and then um, we'll go on to the skull. And I'll show you and teach you um, what exactly I'm doing. Alright, here we go. Remember, watch my hand. Oh, and it helps to have the cord in my hand, too. Eases up the, uh, um, the balance. As you can see, I switch speeds. And I'm getting different tones here, but I'm just going to try to keep a consistent tone. On this. I'll show you the different tones and the way I'm getting it. In the skull, you'll be able to see it a lot easier. Good thing, get an air hose, just shoot it off real quick. 
Um, now we're going to peel it back and see how good I actually am. And we're going to see what I need to fix up and straighten out. And see, I didn't come close to the lines here. And I got some wobbly lines. So I'll just clean them up right now. Hello. So that gave it like a nice highlight. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it gives it a nice highlight. But here we go on to the tricky stuff. Now on to the skull. Now you want to kind of keep it low. And it all depends on where you want to start. Now my whites are going to be, you know, pretty much solid almost like I got here. And then that goes. But all these dark tones, I'm going to go lighter and you're going to see it. See now I'm going to... Keep it low the whole time. And my hand speed is going to play a big role in what I'm doing right now. And my pressure of my hand. As you can hear it. And that's what you want. You want to be able to hear it. And pay attention. And the feel. Now I'm going to come out and lighten this up a little bit and go real quick. see what I did and see how it looks see them different tones in there gave me one gradient and another but it's really white up here and then really light down there and then once I get it all where I want to, I'm going to go back and really fine tune it. And you'll get to see that. You want to pay attention to your pressure. Because as you can hear, I'm not really, now I am. Because I'm going into the light. Pressure's a little bit more. Slow my hand down, the whiter I want to go, and I'll speed it up the darker I want to go. And if I want more glass showing, then I'll lighten my speed and let, quicken my speed and lighten my pressure.
see where we're at. Let's see what it looks like. Because it's kind of tough. But if you're hearing your sounds correctly and knowing what your Dremel's taking off of that glass, then you know you should be pretty good and look pretty badass. See, look at all them tones I got in there. That looks pretty freaking cool right now. And then I'll be able to go back and fine tune it and everything. But this is going to be a cool ass piece. And we're going to keep on going with it. the outline we'll see how we're looking that's looking pretty killer right there See, now I'm going to go over lightly on low and start hitting up some of these. See, my hand placement is giving me that pressure that I need, that constant pressure. I'm able to lift up on my hand and let it go, but I can push down as hard as I want to and I'm not going to go anywhere. Getting the blending a little bit more. some depth.
Yeah. That's how you do that. We just keep that constant motion. It's making it look more real. And they're just natural motions. It's not difficult, it's not hard. And I'll go over it again real quick, but lightly. The kind of tones I want. This, this one right here is a different spotty tone. And to make it look as natural as you can, and realistic as you can. Try to follow the natural motions of your hand. getting a constant tone but a really light tone so it's going to give that effect that I'm looking for up with on that rose. I can sort of see but I can't see so I keep doing this. That looks pretty darn good. Now I'll just go in and clean it up. See I'm pretty much done. I have no more outlines I really need to do so I'm just going to take this off and just really look at it and see where I want to go with it. See what I kind of missed or I didn't miss. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's what you would get. I'll probably take a picture of it, so.